So recently I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about why your guys' NSB task says acquiring session during drops. That's most likely because your proxies are bad. So I'm going to show you guys how to generate proxies more specifically for Leaf today. And then how to test it just so you guys can see what you guys need to do. Um, I'll do another one on Oculus because I know some of you guys have Oculus ISPs. And you guys don't know how to um, generate the... ISP proxies for that so I'll show you guys how to do that in another video but today I'll be doing leaf so here's how you do it you once you log in this is the page you're gonna be at for IP auth here's how you get it um, you could go to a website called what is my IP.com I'll put that in my description as well so you guys could just click on it but right here down here it'll you can see here it says my public IPv4 you're gonna copy and paste this into the leaf proxies and then once you press the plus sign right here, which basically means add, you're gonna see right here in a bit, it's gonna say something about, um, it's gonna take 30 minutes to confirm or something like that. So once you do it, just wait a little and then <clears throat> you'll see the message pop up and then just wait 30 minutes. So I waited a bit and here's the message that pops up. You can see it added the proxies and it says, wait 30 minutes for it to be added. So once you get that message, you know you're good. You know you put in the right IP and that uh, it'll be authenticated in 30 minutes. But anyways, you could use that. The one I think works best for NSB and the one I always use is user pass one. Not that. So when you click on user pass one, here's what I do. I go right here where it says country and click US. I use US for foot sites instead of Foot Locker. I, in my opinion, US has worked better. Foot Locker seems to get blocked easily and more often than US does. So I always use US for available gateways. I just always click on these. On all of them and for the count I always generate 250 even though I'm not making 250 tasks it's, it's just always good to use extra or have extra so I just always get a big amount so I just and then after that just click generate and it'll pop up all your proxies right here and you just go up here and um, click on copy and I'll just copy all those um, proxies into the computer and then you just simply paste it in to the bot like that now, after you put, put it into NSB, the way you'll test is click on latency check. And when you do that, you can see these green numbers pop up. That means they're good. If it's bad proxies, it'll pop up a red um, bad. Watch, you'll see in a bit. Some of them should be bad because that's usually how it is when you generate a big amount. Or maybe not. Okay, so surprisingly, all these proxies came out, came out clean. But here, I'll just put an example. I just put random letters right here to mix to mess it up, and then once I do latency check, that it'll pop up a red bad like that. That's how you know your proxies your proxies are bad, and that's usually why um, a lot of people task says acquiring session for foot sites. It's because it's bad. So make sure you're always checking your proxies. I regenerate mine at least a couple times a week, so just do that. But anyways, let's go back to Leaf. So you could do that. Or for IP, IP um, auth, you could do the same thing. You could go to US or you could click on Foot Locker or just any of these. And just like I said earlier, in my opinion, US works the best. Available gateways, I always click on all of these except dynamic. I don't really know the difference, but I've always been told to use static, so that's what I always use. And then just um, 250 for that. User pass 2, user pass 3, I don't really use those at all. But if I were to use it, I'm in USA, so I would just click on America for you for user pass three, and then United States <clears throat> for user pass two. Again, the same thing. I'm in the US, so I'd click on US, and then all of these. But once again, I always use user pass one for all my drops. I don't use any of the other ones at all. So that's just what I use. But test them all out. I just wanted to show you guys how to generate your proxies for Leaf and how to um, check your proxies in NSB to make sure they're good. I'll be doing an Oculus video soon since a lot of you guys are get starting to get that and some of you guys don't know how to configure them so I'll show you guys how to do it but that's basically going to be today's video guys. If you have any questions at all just leave it down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't yet please subscribe to this channel, like this video, I'm going to play a sponsorship video soon where you can get discounts with my promo code for a couple cook groups and Oculus ISP proxies. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And here's the sponsorship video.
If you guys are still looking for a cook group, I highly suggest you guys get Drop Alert. Now that I'm sponsored by Drop Alert, you can use my promo code JC15 to get 15% off your order. As you can see here, it's $20 a month, so give it a try. Try out a month and see how it works for you. So I just recently got sponsored by a new cook group called Sp Starter Square. They sent me a direct link that I could that I'm gonna put in the description so that you guys could click on and purchase the monthly membership for it. So if you want to join this group, it's ten dollars a month. Again, the link will be in the description, so just click on it and sign up. Also, if you're in need of some proxies, I highly recommend you guys get Oculus ISPs. Um, now that I am sponsored by Oculus, you could get twenty five percent off your order if you use my promo code JC, exactly how you see it on the screen right now. So head over to Oculus if you need ISPs, use the promo code, get your 25% off, and let's see how the proxies work for you.